All right, people, welcome back. More Dando commentary. So we are joined by Omega Chaos. Hi, Omega Chaos here again. And uh, we shouldn't call it uh, Dando commentary, more just uh, PP commentary. <laughs> yeah, and pretty it much. It begins. <laughs> so we have we're XX. We haven't seen much else Probably not. for a long time, I think. Yeah. Uh, XXX Slovenia. So what is it again? Slovenia? Slovenia. Yeah, it's a country, apparently. Yep. Not America. Uh, XXX, <laughs> 1473, and we have Lewis EDU, so I guess Lewis Education, 964, at uh, 1407, and here we go with the PP. Yeah, the that guitar, one going the pretty good, rhythm, almost like a board of grades. Pop, and the draw, and the banish, and the search, and it's just, oh my god, like this, this, all of this, all of this needs to be cleaned up immediately. Immediately, right? yeah, a lot of things have to be hit. Mm -hmm. yeah. Both the performance engine and the performance engine. Yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit. Uh, both both sides need to be hit. You have to hit both aspects of the P and the P. You can't you can't leave half of the PP. You got yeah, you got to. Because also, she hit the performance engine, but now the deck turned out pretty much pretty much performable. Uh, Draco Slayer deck. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's still almost as strong. Mm -hmm, yeah, and we are, we are clearly seeing the shenanigans. The shenanigans shall be real. Uh, doing that final bandless talk. So, if you guys haven't seen that already. Shameless plug in my own video <laughs> about myself. It's it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while. I decided that instead of addressing each individual person, because there's so many comments that I would just talk about each individual card that's brought up, and it shot up to over 90 different cards I gotta talk about. <laughs> Yeah. So that's going to be a while before I finish that. So I decided to split up into three parts and talk about, you know, a third of the list that I had to get through. And look at this man. He 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 is going. Is he even pendulum yeah, summoned? Yeah, most in the same turn. Yeah, he's pendulum summoned. That's pretty normal nowadays. Yeah. I was say, is he even pendulum? Like, yeah, he summoned wizard. Oh, yeah. Let's just go into you know infinity. Why not? Yeah, infinity and rough flash are probably as well. Yeah, that, that's fair. Got to take clown. Yeah, that's totally fair that uh, uh, rank fours get access to infinity. It's fair. <laughs> yeah, of course, very fair. I didn't even notice he hasn't even used trick clown this turn. <laughs> At least you can only do the whole infinity on top of Nova thing once per turn. Yeah, that's you good. Let's have another one and Rafisha too. Like, just fuck your Probably. opponent once again. Welcome to to now Yu-Gi-Oh. Just make unbreakable boards that your opponent can't do shit against. Sounds fun, At right? least we don't have a Shockmaster. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Lewis, uh, is this duel going to be over real quick? Real quick. Go ahead, draw. I can't do anything. Scoop it up. Then Lewis goes first with his PP deck, and he breaks the unbreakable board. Scoop it up. Like, what is this duel going to literally end uh, match-wise in less than 15 minutes? Because <laughs> that's how it seems like. 40 minutes for a round, and duel's ending in... 10 15 minutes. Ridiculous. Is that three? Okay. Yeah, yeah. this doesn't seem Pepe to me. <laughs> yeah, it seems a little bit too slow for Pepe. Maybe Burning Abyss, maybe? Yeah, possibly. Yeah, I can't or really. Cosmo. Yeah, of course. Oh, but, oh, that's a little... but it's way too late. Yeah, right that's now. too late. <laughs> <laughs> the, the damage is not already to... done. <laughs> Now, if you had that first turn, maybe we could talk, but that's too late. <laughs> uh, and, and you just see those three. The, oh, hello, Dust Tornado. So break your scale and then have that anti-spell fragrance. I mean, it started too late. I would negate with Infinity. I would. And that's why I don't think anti-spell fragrance is, is ever going to get hit. Nah. With so many good first turn. Yeah, it really is. Because if you don't get it first turn, if you don't go first first turn with it, it's already too late. Especially with the consistency of these decks will get in their scales, whether it be PP or whatever. Like, oh, okay, but now you can't play your scales at all. Like, I would have negated it with Infinity, but I guess you're like, fuck it, I don't care. I yeah, got this dual one was anyway. Kind of a mistake, I feel. Okay, so at the end of main phase one, effect Railer. Okay. Like a stem mirror force or something? I guess. 
I mean, screw that. If he wants to throw the segment at me at the end of main phase one, I wouldn't even attack. Especially with my freaking uh, oh, Infinity wow. Gear. Wow, Please. see? Wait, That's course. what you get. That was dumb. That was dumb, it was, man. It was part of a little bit of damage. Um, all right, it's kind of a risky card to use if you have low life points. Mm-hmm. So everybody in mother takes all that. Destroy all types of street monster points controls. We do take damage equal to half the combined original attack of the street monster and you inflict damage. These are the damage you took, so. Taking all that damage. Hope it was worth it. I mean, that was obvious as hell. I would have just said, at the end of phase one, he wouldn't win effect veil. Like, obviously, you have some kind of mirror force back there, so I'm just gonna end my turn and let you go neg on the effect veil. Instead, Mr. Country Guy decided to go in. And took that neg. And there's the reason. I like that as well. Yeah. Wow. Uh, such a misplace. Seriously. Like, alright. Well, I mean, yeah, you can't recap me. Oh, yeah, right, of course. Yep. I don't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> know. Oh, it's four greens. It's fucking That's him. Not... Uh, wow, it's probably some sort of. Sort it's, of just, it's just anti matter. Anti just... Weird anti matter there. Yeah, so. just hatred. At least over here, it's just hating on the PV. And you're not gonna do anything to with Rafisha? You're just gonna be like, nah, let's fuck it, I don't care. I wonder how much uh, back row uh, country guy is running. Is it just, you know, the, what's it, Treacherous Trap Hole? Is that the one that they play? Yeah, right. that's pretty much the only trap they play, really. Like that. They don't even play the Ariadne and uh, Swarm Strikes. Nah, I don't like that. Uh, doesn't it say target two monsters on the field? Yes, it yeah, has yeah, a target. It, it, oh, oh, stop, stop. Has to be two. Has to be two. So, you can target your own monster. Yeah, that's true. Well, you might want to specify. Okay, so he's saying that he targets a Fisher, which is unaffected by trap hole cards. Should probably specify. Yeah, that. but uh, Rafish has a monster effect, so. Okay, so he's going treacherous trap hole, target his monster, target Rafisha, and then Rafisha will be unaffected by the trap hole? No, because uh, it, uh, it just uh, Rafisha's effect turns into that effect, but it doesn't. It's not. Treat it as, as a trap effect. It's a monster effect. That's how it works. Okay, so you can't do that. Because I'm so lost. Apparently he's talking and I'm like, I'm lost. Because <laughs> I'm assuming that you can target it. It doesn't stay specified in the field. Yeah, I can target it. But... So that a flash is now destroyed. I'm so lost. I'm so lost. I'm the, this guy, Mr. Slav, he he completely confused me. And then yeah, now you're confusing me. Why? <laughs> With the simple explanation. Alright. So so he can't do that. So wait, he can do the treacherous trap hole thing that he just did, right? Yeah, I can do that. And then Rafisha would not be affected by the treacherous. Oh wait, oh Banisher was on the field, then that's. So yeah, he can't send the trap true. card from the deck to the graveyard. So yeah, he can't even do that. Yeah, that's true. He completely. Oh my god. Missed that. I don't know. You know how my some of my viewers are. They'll crucify me if I don't figure out any problem, as if I'm a judge or something. I'm here just watching. Whatever. So, normal, special summon that hat tricker, and once again, hat tricker saving the day for problems that uh, uh, this deck can't handle because it doesn't run any back row hate or anything from what we've seen from uh, Sydney. No twin twisters in the main yep. deck. Like, alright, have fun with that when monarchs come out. Like, that's not gonna fly <laughs> when monarchs come out. Yep. So, I'll go ahead and make that Castell spin back that uh, anti spell for Grinch and. Go to town. <laughs> I mean, you're going to get Regekied next turn, so... Obviously. You're going to get Regekied. Hello? Oh. I, I, I'm actually pretty good now. 
so you can bait out the infinity. Just to clear the fields. Yeah, it's, but, not, it's uh, not bad. Bait, insane. bait out the infinity, kill the Rafisha before she does anything to you. It's, it's, not, it's not bad, not bad. Alright. Spin away the anti-spell her Yep. Yeah. Like I said, Mr. Lewis, you got that anti-meta, but I just don't think you can handle the the, the power of the performage and the pendulum and the, the everything. And the pudding pops. You, you just can't. <laughs> Yeah, it's just too much. Mm -hmm. Completely out of resource energy. All he's doing is just reset up your skills and look at all the monsters in the extra deck just waiting, waiting, in wait, just to fuck you up. Like, and that's just the one thing that I can't stand about the pendulum mechanic, that the monsters go back to the freaking extra deck and they just summon again. Like, who thought of that? Who thought of that? Well, if they didn't go back to the extra deck, the mechanic would be pretty much useless. I, I mean, sp summoning a whole bunch of monsters from your hand, that sounds pretty busted to me. Just saying, it sounds pretty busted to me. I mean, did you just summon all them blue eyes out of your hand? <laughs> Without charity? <laughs> you know, screw the rules. I got tens of them summoned. <laughs> and that is game. Yep. He was like, screw it, I don't got anything yeah, left. That was what I expected. Yeah. So, I guess we'll go ahead and pause and come back for uh, two. Be right back. Alright, back. So, Mr. Lewis is going first, and also he has the hate. You got that first turn anti spell fragrance, slow the duel down to a creeping halt. Yep, grab some of that banisher, set that anti spell fragrance, and then just start the hate. Start the hatred. Oh, yep. Yeah, yep, set there four. we go. Set oh. four. Banish to set four. Just, just throw, free, throw face, peep up that anti spell. Yep, straight or maybe not. hatred already, people. <laughs> Flip it up! Yep. I guess it doesn't have it. Try go face off. Is it common? Yes, it's a common. Okay. A bit surprising. Yeah, I thought they were going to do a little bit more with it. Now we're seeing the power of the Draco Slayers. So you can't just hit... You can't just hit PP, and you can't just hit Before Mages, because that engine's not bad either. Yeah, it's pretty good. So he's going to summon him. Okay. No, no. I was right, saying, like, you know how good Lester is in the action <laughs> in the bedroom scale. Still, not not ex expensive. His price has gone down. At least he's not like fifty bucks, but he's still pretty expensive. Yeah, still. I said I I I doubt they'll they'll hit him though. Yeah, probably not because they want to make some money from it. Yeah, that arch that archetype is something. If it wasn't if it's a standalone card, yeah, but like archetype, nah. So maybe addressing everything around it might be better. Okay, so I guess Lewis is acting if asking if he's gonna use the effect. So play its independent scale, gonna activate luster, targeting. I've never seen that before. E J, E J? What what does that mean? I think that's supposed to be their weird laughing that some Spanish oh, people that's... use. That's racist. It's true. Kind of racist though. I said J A J A instead of ha. It's ja. Wow. Then crash. Nah. 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 Oh, save zone. Safe. Nah. <laughs> nah. Wow. wow. <laughs> save zone. Woo! I haven't seen that card in a cool minute. All right. Got blown back. There's no one still there. Well, I know that Pepe player needs some Ignister in here or... No, no, no. Chain oh, Twin Twister. Well, that works as well. Yeah. So, go ahead and get two for one. Go ahead and discard. Yeah, I mean, card was still getting banished, but still. And then uh, your... Uh, yep, pay cost. Targets. Okay. There we go. Response to this. Just be like, nah, dark red. Fuck it. I don't care. You got any... like twin twister makes running back row pretty bad. It really does. And you know, there's still people that say that Harpy's Feather Duster and shit should come back. Yeah, not no, like, mm, not anymore. No. Not even heavy storm as well. Unfortunately. Why are you clicking his monster? It was that attack declaration. So his monster still feel into the field has changed, so Trick Clown actually can get it. No no result. Uh, oh dummy. 
Yeah, I would say, yeah. I don't understand <laughs> what's going on. Yeah, did you, same did you here. Click something, Lewis? Wait, I'm so lost. I'm so <laughs> lost. What ha what <sighs> happened to what happened to Trick Clown? What what, no what happened to Trick Clown? You went attack Maybe at attack three, decoration. Six, um, three coins to the finisher. Yeah, like I'm so lost. <laughs> attack. Safe zone. Chain twin twister poppy two cards. Safe zone would destroy the banisher, right? Right? Mm-hmm. Isn't that what Safe Zone does? If this card is destroyed, destroy the monster instead? Yep. So, the attack decoration never went through. The field was changed, so Trick Clown could get a direct attack in. So with that, I don't know what the hell happened. That was weird. Uh, yeah, in that. Whatever. As long as it makes the duel more entertaining, I don't care. And he just top decks into another Banisher. It's like the only monster he has. <laughs> wow, Banisher, flip your stats. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that works. Yeah, that works. It's definitely one way to handle Banisher. Nah, nah. Stormmere Force. No, Stormmere Force. Wow, Mirror still Force. 20 plus. Wow, it's not even that great, to be honest. Is the attack change uh, permanent? Or is it totally um, I don't oh, think well, so. I'll just look at it now. <laughs> yes. Wow, wavering guys. He's about to go plus off of your plays. <laughs> If he's playing anything like that, like I said, people are like, oh, well, Wavering Eye shouldn't be hit because it's good for uh, decks that uh, don't do that. It's like, or you could just play something else, like anti, you know, what is it? Uh, what's the Magic Arrow? I forgot the name of the card. Mm, spell yeah, Shadow Shadow Arrow. Arrow. Like, why do you gotta play freaking Wavering Eyes? So dumb. Like, Wavering Eye should be hit. Well, the Wavering Eyes is not as great anymore because you can just clear out the scales yourself. With what luster and I mean, if the and... pendulum saucer, yeah, and sorcerer, yep, those two pop in your scales like no other. <laughs> Let's return doing plus turn. You can target one face of monster in the field, switch to attack and fence, then take 500 to take 500. Yeah, uh, last until the end of this turn. All right, and uh, despite um, Mr. Lewis. Having the anti-meta hate, he just can't keep up. He just can't. Wow, wow. <laughs> yeah, but that, but that, uh, Dante in disguise back. Yeah, Banisher is not even that great against this deck. It's really not. I see where he's going with the with the hatred, but still, you didn't get your anti-spell fragrance. You didn't get it. Sorry, it's only three out of forty. So. You didn't get it. You yep. got unlucky. And now you're going to get punished. Now, Lewis, you have absolutely nothing left. This man's going to go into infinity. And it's going to be it. Uh, you want to go ahead and banish that uh, that Skullcrow Bad Joker for me? I think that was a pretty bad play, to be honest. Yeah. Like, why not just run over the banish first? You can get the, a trick, uh, the damage juggler, juggler search later. I guess he just really wanted that uh, attack succeed material, and you know, whatever Lewis top decks at this point, it's, it's not really anything, and so he can just negate. Yeah, definitely not a good perform a performance player, but just still winning because the deck is just so powerful. Yep. Is that it? We're going to go ahead and call a game. Yep, drawn to another damage juggler, sure, why not? Attack anything, even though uh, Infinity can negate during the damage step, so it really doesn't matter what it is. Yep. Yeah. I want that card yeah, that's, <laughs> that's definitely very old school. Yeah, though. really old school. He could just be like, nah. And I think he'll be like, nah. Well, of course. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead and say no. no uh, There's no reason to allow it to go through. There you go. Nah. So, she can just go back to the graveyard. And you're not going to get your attack in with Damage Juggler? Because why not? Whatever. <sighs> that was a weird duel. <laughs> yeah, quick deporting match to be honest. Yep, but hey, that, that's PP for you. We'll probably see a lot more of this until we get that ban list. Yeah, true. So, uh, he tried. Lewis tried the anti meta, but it just wasn't enough. Tier 0, let's go. <laughs> Maybe Monarchs will have a, a say. When they come out soon. When do they come out? Like sometime this week, right? Yeah, 
I have 30 for five. January, so very yeah, soon. So, grab three Monarch Structure decks, slap them together, and do your best. <laughs> so, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed. So, thank you, Omega Chaos, for joining me. No problem. Glad to join always. And I will see you guys on Thursday with some more Deando commentary and probably more PP. Alright, people, thanks for watching.